Welcome back to another episode of Afro 3D Printer. Today, we're going to be looking at 3D Printworks Tangy Orange. There we go, Tangy Orange, PLA. They kindly sent me a spool of this to review for them. And, you know, that's how much I got through. I'll show you what I printed and I'll um, tell you how these um, prints came out and how they look. So this is what they sent. Um, as you can see, I got through it. Now, one of the things that I noticed with this filament is it's got a very pearlescent, orangey feel to it. This is a print from Spanner Hands. Okay. But as you can see, print, ah, there you can see it. it's got very pearlescent, very kind of like, I don't know, very kind of like. If you're looking for a um, quality British made, British manufactured filament, I'd say give them a go. Really good quality filament. It prints really easily. It flows out the nozzle easily. I mean, the recommended temperatures, I printed this at, I think it was about 190, speed of about 60 or 70. And it, as you can see, it came up here. A lot of people have hassle problems printing this, yeah? Because it gets very hot up here. This filament handled it, no problem. The printer I used was the uh, Anna 8 clone, and it works, yeah? And it printed this out beautifully. If you got issues, the cooling was fine, layering was fine. I'm using a um, any cubic bed and the initial bonding, layer adhesion was fine on it. Actually, you can see there, bonded perfectly. I didn't have any issues with bed, bed adhesion. It bonded beautifully to the any cubic bed at 60 degrees centigrade I recommend about 56 why because it just seems to work for me at one 195 this bonded very beautifully to the any cubic um, hot bed okay. beautiful translucence to it okay I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna show you some other prints
I'd say contact 3D Print Works and give them a go with the tangy orange and prepare to be tangoed. Thank you.